Am I in frame? I can't even tell. All right, guys, got another custom e-bike build. Uh, I want to go over what this one is, why it's cool, and why you should get a bike like this one, perhaps, if you're into it. If you're not into this kind of bike, don't get this kind of bike. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I convert bikes into e-bikes professionally. I've done a few hundred of these bad boys now. This is a Cannondale Trail 5. Cannondale Trail 5. Cannondale Trail 5. It's a 29er. It's a hardtail. This is a great, excellent bike if you're looking for a budget mountain bike to convert. Brand new, I think these things are about 700, maybe 800 bucks, and they, they're gonna use good components on this. These are 29 inch tires by 2.1 inch tires, I believe. So these things are, this is built for speed. So this, if you're looking for a commuter, something to ride to work and back on, and then, you know, on the weekend, you wanna take it up to those trails that you drive by all the time in your car, and you're like, that'd be cool if I had a mountain bike, I could do that. Now you can, you can take this on those trails. You're not gonna get doing air on this. I don't recommend it at least. It's got a remote lockout right here for the for the fork, which is really nice. It's got a nine speed cassette in the rear. We went with the BBS HD motor. It's a 46 tooth chain ring, it's just a stock chain ring. Got a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. These ones have the Samsung 35 E cells, which are now getting more and more scarce. So we'll see, maybe by the time you're watching this in the year 2030, they'll be back in production and they'll be easily readily available, but who are we kidding? If you're watching this in 2030, we found out a way to create energy out of What do we what do we I forget. Somebody told me. So this crazy guy smelled like urine on the bus told me what we were going to be using energy for in 2030 and I can't remember now. We put a gear shift sensor on it because this is a mid-drive this was a pretty straightforward install. That's why I like doing hardtail mountain bikes. They usually go in really easy. Except this bike has got these weird Helix 6 handles. You see those? They come up and then they're look, they look like grasshopper legs or something. Uh, for display, we went 500C display. I really like this display. It's super small, compact, it's color. Shows you your voltage in real volts not like a rough gas gauge it's like man maybe it's accurate and it also shows you real time how many watts your motor is pulling from your battery that's the those are the two main differences between this and just like the standard black and white display that comes with the kit if you upgrade to like a color display it's going to show you stuff like that it's got a throttle here it's got a little bell all right let's go do a johnny nerdot test So you see 35, this was on a half charged battery. So I think if this was fully charged, this probably would have eked out about 36 miles an hour because these got these like super thin 29 inch tires. So this thing is built for speed. Uh, hill climbing, that's where these big giant tires work against it. It's all about gear ratios. So if you had little tiny wheels, you're able to use this mid drive. This is a, a round circle. This is a round circle. If you make this big and this one's small, you're gonna go super fast. If you make this one small and this one super big, you're gonna go super slow, but you're gonna go, you know, you climb anything. It's like a tank. Think about how tanks move. They don't go super fast, but they'll climb up anything. But then it's the opposite with this. If you went big, you got more speed. If you went small, I, confu I feel like I'm confusing myself, but anyways. Uh, top speed was what 34 35 hill climbing was okay on this one from a from a dead standstill still will beat the pants off of any hub motor as far as hill climbing because you're using the gear ratio all right hopefully you guys found this helpful let me know if you got any questions um yeah thanks for watching